And now on to John Ladd. He's a fourth generation cattle rancher from Arizona whose property spans 10 and a half miles along the U.S.-Mexico border. And he joins me now. John, um, I have been reading some of your comments about what you come across on your own property with illegals crossing over your property every day of every week. Is it true that you've actually found dead bodies, and how many? Well, we've found 17 over the last 30 years, and thank you for having me. Well, what have you found since the Biden uh, folks have taken over the border? Obviously, a completely different approach than Donald Trump had, which was to turn people back at the border, Title 42. How bad have things gotten for people who own land along the border? Well, this is the worst it's ever been, it, even though the, the numbers don't uh, match what it was before Donald Trump. Donald Trump had the border figured out, and the four years he was president, it was uh, almost non-existent for us. We got spoiled. As soon as Biden took office, we had groups at the House again. We had cut fences. Uh, it, it's been a 24-hour nightmare with Biden being president. Well, the thing that I've noticed, and I noticed it when I was down in Del Rio and in Eagle Pass, and it might seem like it's nothing to people because they're thinking of it's a lot of hardship and obviously death and suffering of people, but the trash that you guys have had to pick up is stunning. Oh, it, All it, these environmentalists and this trash. trash everywhere. Yeah, they, and the environmentalists don't even want to talk about it. But the, the big thing that we have, it, we don't have the give ups, the asylum seekers. We, we have the, the illegals are in full camouflage and carpet shoes. They don't want to get caught. And about two thirds of them down here are getaways because of what Biden did to Border Patrol and it, removing the agents off of the border to go process the illegals coming from other sectors. You've also commented about something that a lot of people have read about but don't believe, which are rape trees. What is a rape tree? Every woman that comes across the border gets raped, and then the, the cartel people hang their underwear in a tree as a trophy status. That, that have you, have, have, every woman down here gets raped coming across the border. Have you seen the the women's underwear on a tree on your property? Well, that picture's for yeah. It, it's it's a pretty regular event. I mean, <laughs> women across the country, mothers ac across the country. I mean, this is not humane. This is being sold, John as humane, letting people come into the country because they're seeking a better life. How is this humane? Forget being fair to you as a, as a cattle rancher. How is it humane? Well, it isn't. That, that's a hypocrisy of what uh, Biden talks about. But it, when, when the illegals gather up across the line, there, there's a border town of Naco, Sonora. And they get their package deal of the camo and the carpet shoes, baklavas. Well, the women, they're, they, it's already prearranged. They have a packet of birth control that they ha they buy it, but it, it's mm -hmm. a one-stop shop where you get everything you need to cross the border. John, thank you for telling your story, and we wish you the best of luck. It is brutal for the ranchers, and we've heard this story before, but it never gets any easier to hear. Thank you, John. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.